24 inside our news um, this morning. Now, if you talk about human trafficking, I know so the first hand or the first state where you go actually point to now my state, Edo State. It's also my state. It's so our don't, state. Don't claim anyway. it <laughs> don't claim it alone. It's our state. <laughs> but anyway, the governor of Edo State, they actually do a lot to make sure, say, human trafficking, say, then mention them, say, Edo State not become number one. Now, Governor Godwin Obaseki, they actually ordered the task um, force on human trafficking and illegal migration to ensure, say, they eradicate um, human trafficking and illegal migration by 2020. Now, Mr. Solomon Okodowa, the, spe the senior special advisor to the governor on human trafficking and illegal uh, migration, actually talked this one from inside Benin uh, recently, and I actually talked this one. He talks at the task force uh, where the, gov the governor they actually set up in 2017, they actually they don't mandate them to urgently, immediately reduce um, the kind uh, running around, leaving Nigeria where a lot of Edo people they do, and um, by 50% before December. The Obasaki's um, aid, and they react to the signing of the anti-human um, trafficking law by the governor for inside Abuja last week, Wednesday night, they actually put down. He talks about the former signing of the law, um, which was recently passed by the House of State House of Assembly, will send a strong message to the traffickers and say, this will not be business as usual, we are ready. Um, to catch you. Now, looking at um, what the governor of Edo State they actually do. Now, uh, I know, say, recently I be get an interaction with um, a person where they in the government team. Okay. And they come outside, talk, say, apart from the fact, say, him, they try, find the cartels. Now, not just finding the humans, or uh, rather the, the uh, citizens, yeah. where they travel, go, the cartel, where they don't establish themselves or inside Edo State, where they traffic um, people, people um, go um, countries. Apart from that, in they actually bring out some kind of employability trainings for uh, those citizens too. Very true. Uh, and they support some of them too. Uh, right. They'll uh, get business. Very true. And I, I, mean, I know say you just come back from Edo State. I won't ask you whether you see any, any people inside motor where they travel abroad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but one big question that begs, you know, that, that uh, where they always bother me, be say, me, I know say myself now, uh, uh, you know, citizen of Edo State. Yeah. Now, when this whole Libya crisis has been happening, we've been getting uh, foreign journalists, particularly from the BBC, we've been going to Benin to do some investigation. My own question is, say, why are people so, people in, in Edo State so interested in traveling abroad. If like I say the thing don't turn to um, a lucrative venture yeah. for them, they believe say once they go there, they go make them so and they, they go feel liberate, mm -hmm. you know, liberate their own people from home here from uh, poverty and other things. Because I remember say some years, I think two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, me been travel home, I've been go Benin, and I've been go visit my uncle for there. And for that in street, they tell me say it's almost like a thing of pride. Yes. Make you go each compound. I mean, they tell you say they get somebody for this compound where they live abroad. Say this person they Spain, this person they Italy, this person they UK, this person they Germany. What thing the person they do, no concern anybody. But say you get, it be like some places where they would say, hey, for this compound, we get one professor. Here we get one pilot. Here we get one engineer. But for there, they would say, here we get somebody for Spain. Here we get somebody for Italy. Italy. Here we get somebody Very for Germany. True. So what is the reason why people, they travel? I, me, I feel saying that there we're supposed to start from. Mm -hmm. If we can reorientate the people for those places, change their mentality. And that's what I think it's trying to do now. Change because, the mentality, because first of the, all. Because some of the returnees for Israel Libya, just to state it, this one of mm. the first time where they actually happened. Um, uh, those citizens have been known to um, the travel into inside very Italy true. for a very long time. Since I was born, I don't hear and say, ah, Edo, Italy, mm -hmm. you understand? So this is not the first time. But apart from the fact, say, in they actually try to eradicate human trafficking for inside Edo State, in they actually try to change the mindset of um, Edo, Edo lights, mm -hmm. as they call them, yeah. say, Como, it's not really greener over, at the, yeah. over there. Yeah. It's not greener. You can actually stay here and uh -huh. establish yourself. I remember one of the um, Libya returnee, and we come outside talk, say she be they look for 150,000 naira when she not say, and that's why she decided to travel uh, through Libya into inside Europe. Mm -hmm. And then you can't give her money, okay? So you want to start a business, start up this business. So, yeah, a lot of trainings is going on, but not be just once, then they will start the training. It has to go on over and of over course, again. It has to go on. We do hope, say, the Edo State government uh, go really, really make progress uh, for inside this one. They say, hopefully, by the end of this year, about 50% say they go fit, It should be reduced. Uh, it should be reduced by 50%, and by, by 2020, it should be completely um, eradicated. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.